Hello, SNM Sunday School. It's Manda Yehana. Today is a very special Sunday. Of course, every Sunday is special. Today is extra special because it's called Trinity Sunday. Trinity. Trin. Three. Nitty. Unity. So three in one and one is three. Very confusing, isn't it? Well, take a deep breath. When we go into church, we do this in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, right? Hmm. So, God the Father, remember this, created heaven and earth, and created us. So, we have God. Why do we call God Father? Because in the old, old, old days, Father is the person that provides everything for the family. And then we have Jesus. Remember, the Good Shepherd, Jesus the Son. And a very smart person asked me, Two questions. Why is sometimes Jesus Son of Man and sometimes Jesus Son of God? Jesus is both. Well, Jesus called himself Son of Man when he talks about himself in the future, in the future tense. Say, oh, something, something is going to happen to the Son of Man. That's when Jesus talked about himself. And Son of God, of course, he's the Son of God because God sent the Holy Spirit to Virgin Mary and then he was born from the Virgin Mary. So, but there is something important about man and God. See, man and God, Jesus is both man and God. And Jesus is son of man because Jesus brings all of humanity, like human beings, back to God. So Jesus is both man and both God, and both are correct. And this son of man actually appears mostly in the Gospel of Mark, I think, about 14 times. So there you have it. And now the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Remember last week, we everyone has a little bit of fire tongue on top? Well, mostly the Holy Spirit is represented by fire or a dove. But, I'm going to tell you a secret. This is Hebrew. It says Ruach, which means the breath of God. So you say, well, where is Jesus and Holy Spirit in, in the creation? God said, let there be light. Jesus is the Word. The Word is there. And then, the breath, all three. And then, when Jesus goes back to the Father, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit stays with us. So, sometimes people ask me, is the Holy Spirit a boy or a girl? And not a secret, I'm telling you. In Hebrew, like, I know you know French, there is a male for masculine, feminine. So, Ruach is actually a feminine form. And sometimes when we see Sophia or Wisdom, that also refers to the Holy Spirit. So there you have it, it's a female form. And then, well, how can I actually tell you about the Holy Spirit? Look at this picture. Normally when we look at a picture, we look at the eyes of the figure, but look at this. This is Jesus because Jesus is, is blue and then I think this is like a burgundy. So Jesus is both God and both men. And then look at what Jesus' eyes is looking at this figure, that is God the Father. And look, God the Father is actually looking at this one, the Holy Spirit. So they're actually going round and round and round and see why is it empty? That's reserved for us. So we actually in the Holy Trinity and everything is done because of love. So you say, remember this, three years ago is really, really popular. It's one of the stress spinning thing. So the Holy Spirit is always spinning together, always creating, always creating, and we are part of it. And you might say, well, I prefer God to be an egg. I know some of you do. But do you think, oh, let me see, okay. God wanted to be compared to an egg? I don't think so. So remember, the Trinity is all about love, and there's always a spot in that, in that, oh, well, that's the table. Remember, we have bread and wine at church. There's always a place for us at that table. So remember, Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is all a Trinity and unity of love. So if you have any questions, you can ask me or email me. Until next time, have a safe week. God bless you and pray. Keep praying. Thank you.